Hello students, in this session, let us solve a question on thin cylinders. A spherical pressure vessel made of mild steel of internal diameter 500 mm and thickness 10 mm is subjected to an internal gauge pressure of 4000 kPa. If the yield stress of the mild steel is 200 MPa, the factor of safety for the mild steel is this we have to find out, right? So this is a spherical pressure vessel, thin uh, spherical pressure vessel. This is not thin cylinder. This is thin sphere. You can say the topic name should be the thin sphere, uh, thin pressure vessel basically, right? Uh, so this is a thin pressure vessel. So there is a spherical pressure vessel and internal diameter is given that is 500 millimeter and thickness of this spherical vessel is given uh, 10 millimeter. Uh, the pressure applied is 4000 kilopascal. If the air stress of the mild steel is 200 megapascal, then what is the factor of safety? This we have to find out. So let us solve this question. This is the question of thin cylinders. A spherical shell is given to us. Diameter is given 500 mm and thickness is 10 mm. The yield stress of the material, whatever material is there, is given to us 200 megapascal. And we have to find out the factor of safety. Right, and the internal pressure applied is 4000 kilopascal. It is in the gauge pressure. Gauge pressure is given to us. Right, so how to find out the factor of safety? Right, so let us solve this question. We know that the hoop stress, hoop stress for a spherical vessel is given by PD by 40. This formula you should remember. PD by 40 is the hoop stress in a spherical pressure vessel. Right. And the stress should not exceed this limit, hoof stress, right? And if we are allowing some uh, factor of safety, then the yield stress is given by 200 megapascal, right? So factor of safety is basically the value which is higher compared to the hoof stress, right? Or you can say that uh, yield stress upon hoof stress, the ratio of yield stress to hoof stress will be the factor of safety, right? So this much is the factor of safety we have applied for this material, right? Basically, the material should withstand the hoop stress, but we are giving some higher value. We are designed in such a way that stress which can hold by the material is actually the yield stress, right? So the ratio of these two will be the factor of safety, right? So now, but what is pressure? Pressure is 4000 kilopascal, but it is gauge pressure, right? So what is actual pressure or absolute pressure? So that will be equal to P gauge, P uh, gauge plus P atmospheric pressure, P atmospheric pressure, right? So gauge pressure plus atmospheric pressure. And you know that atmospheric pressure is, atmospheric pressure is, how much is that? That is nearly one bar or you can say 0.1 mega Pascal, right? And absolute pressure if you find out, that is equal to P gauge, gauge is 4000 kilopascal that is that can be converted to megapascal because the answer uh, yield stress is given in megapascal. So this is 4 megapascal, this is equal to 4 megapascal. So 4 plus 0.1 which is the atmospheric pressure that is 4.1 megapascal. So this is actually uh, nearly equal to the absolute pressure. So we can also remove this, right? So that calculation may be easy. So absolute pressure is nearly the gauge pressure is nearly equal to the gauge pressure that is equal to 4 mega Pascal. This can be used in calculation for simplicity. Otherwise you can use 4.1 mega Pascal also, right? Now the factor of safety will be equal to the ratio of air stress by hoop stress. Uh, this is the design stress and this is the actual uh, the stress which can be hold by the material. So this will be sigma y by that is sigma h is pd by 40. So this is pd by 40. So this is equal to 4 sigma y t by pd. So that will be equal to 4 multiplied by sigma y is 200 and this is 10. Thickness is the 10. P is pressure, 4 can be used so that it may easily cut down and D is 500 in millimeter. So answer will come in 
in the uh, unit less right so this is 5 2 ja 10 4 to 4 cancel so factor of safety is 4 so factor of safety is basically 4 so this is the answer of this question 4 factor of safety